Welcome to the Long Roman Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? It's time to grocery shop. All right, we're at Walmart and then we're going to Sam's later. That's right. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so if you know us, you know that Joel normally buys some international delight creamer, but they don't have it. It's out. So so he has to get the other one. So there is a generic version, but he did not like the quality or the taste or whatever. I guess you'd say. Okay. We also need some heavy whipping cream. So we got this half of, how, how much is it? $1.98. $1.98, but what size is it? It's a uh, 16 ounce. 16 ounce. So we got some more almond milk and that was? $2.36. $2.36. So for one of our recipes, we need a two pack of cream cheese. And we have seen no problem with having the great value brand of that, and that's the price. Okay, so we normally buy our son cookies and cream, great value Pop Tarts, and he likes those. And they're only $1.50, but they don't have them. But I do have a free after offer rebate for Pop Tarts. So we're just going to grab one of these boxes and we'll get $3.05 back. So that'll make it about $1.09 for the box. Okay, so we're going to get coconut oil here because the only thing that was available at Sims Club was a six pack for $115. So yeah, not doing that. Okay, so we could get the extra virgin olive oil here, but it's the exact same price at Sims Club except it's organic extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to get that over there. Okay, so we're getting Rotel here. Where, hey, they have no salt added Rotel. Same price too. Yep. I, I do look for things that say no salt added if possible, just to, so I can control the salt in my food. I can add more if I need it. So no salt added, exact same price, 98 cents. And we're getting two of these tomato sauces can of chili because we still have a little uh, Velveeta and so Joel's gonna eat some chili cheese dip and we need how many two two cans of black beans no salt added for 72 cents for can and we need two cans of corn some mustard and it was a dollar one dollar okay so if you get the 10 yeah, it's 2.98 if you get the 20 it's 5.97 so it's virtually the same deal just according to whether or not you need a 10 or 20. Okay, so we're doing, uh, getting a bag of cheese tortellini, um, and we're using that in a try something new recipe, and what's, what's the price? $2.98. $2.98. Okay, so we checked against the Sam's Club price. The Sam's Club price was $1.12 per pound for the two pack. Dollar per pound okay. here. So, Walmart wins on this. Okay, so we're getting, how much is that size? One pint? Yeah, it's a pint. A pint for two eighty-eight. Okay, so we have some bananas here. They're sixty-three cents per pound. Um, now you can just grab a whole bunch of bananas at one time, or you can do this number right here, where you just break off a few and take them. That's not a problem. If you got a three-pack right here already, so I don't have to break any off. So we always say this is according to how much spinach you need. So this is $2.98 for five ounces, which makes it about five, 59 cents per ounce, but you can get it at Sam's Club for about $3.88 for a whole pound. So that makes it like, what did you say? 20, 20 24, cents. 24 cents per ounce. Um, it's usually about $2.79 at Aldi, but that's still like, if you only need five ounces, that would be better price than buying the 298 but if you need more than five ounces instead of buying several five ounces by the pound at a place like sam's club or even here they have a pound there and it's 31 cents but we're gonna wait until we get to sam's club okay so uh, usually i just get a couple of loose avocados so that i can make sure they're the ripeness that i want but they're a dollar 28 each this week Last week it was less than a dollar, so I'm not going to buy that. So I was looking over here in the bag ones, and as you can see, that says $3.96 for the bag. It also says $3.96 per each, which means per bag, right? There's six avocados in there. That would be a little more than 
60 cents per avocado. So we're gonna get that one. But let me just point to this. See that? That says per each too. But in their case, they're actually talking about how many avocados are in it, which is three. So that's why you have to watch it because they're not labeling things in a way to help you at all. They want you to make an assumption that that this is a better deal than that. Okay, so his bag of Cheetos he got here because it's three ninety eight. Three ninety eight. And it's what size? 18 ounces. 18 ounces, which means it's like... It's 22 cents per ounce. 22 cents per ounce. And normally what you buy, the small size, the regular size bag at Walmart is usually about $3.28. And that's only eight ounces. So um, then their party size is about 15 ounces. And it's about three ninety eight. dollars So we're get, he's getting like three extra ounces for the same price. And we're also getting some Tostitos here, three nine, ni 19 ounces. 19 ounces for 3.98, and we did price compare when we were in Walmart, and that's a better price. Ooh, they only have two cases. Okay, so it's 3.98, excuse me, it's 13.58, I don't know where I got that from. Um, and if you divide that by 35 cans, you get, is that correct? 38.8? Yep. But at Walmart, it would have been almost 40. Right, almost 40. 40. So about a penny per can cheaper. Okay. So local Florida honey, and that's only 29.6 cents per ounce. Okay. And so, like we said, the better price was here at Sam's Club for the olive oil. Okay, so we saw the better deal here at Sam's Club on um, bacon powder, $4.98, and it was 22.7 cents per ounce. Okay, so we looked at Walmart and um, I had a $4 back, cash back off Ibotta for Oregon, but apparently that even with four dollars taken off of it if you do the math it's more expensive still than getting it here at sam's club so we were seeing with the four dollars off it would be one dollar per no what was it one dollar one dollar per ounce yeah okay so it would be one dollar per ounce and here it would be what was it Um, is that correct? It's just less than a dollar. It, it was like 60 cents or something, like wasn't it? It's 48 cents. This is 48 ounces. Uh huh. For 26.48. 55 cents. 55 cents so we could have spent a dollar per ounce or 55 cents per ounce without the rebate so sometimes rebates don't offset a price that is you know in a bulk store you just have to look all right guys we are actually back from both of our grocery hauls now yeah we, we usually record it right in the car kind of forgot but it was also a hot day so probably good that we didn't do it in the car um but anyway, uh, this was our first grocery haul that we did that uh, after we started the do the math challenge. Um, it's actually a pretty big haul. It was a lot of stocking up. We normally do that. We budget our groceries per month. Yep. That way, if we have one week where we need to do some bulk shopping, we do that. And then the rest of the weeks after that, you start seeing a huge decrease in the amount we're actually spending because we weren't spending it like we spent so much in the first week. So we're right around a hundred and hundred and okay. Uh, for the Walmart haul, it was $72 and 51 cents mm -hmm. for the Sam's club haul. It was $81 and four cents, $81 and four cents. And so $153 and 
and 55 cents and 55 cents so that was it but like i said over the next couple of weeks you'll see much smaller hauls um so there was that we did throw in a lot of tips along the way throughout the video of the best way to price compare because that's going to save you a ton of money if you can uh you know compare store to store and also inside the store yep um so we did that so um now we're going to move on to our meal plan so that we can let you know what we are going to be planning on doing with the food that we bought um and uh we also we have a little thing called uh, recipe of the week videos and you can always request us to do a recipe that is what the recipe of the week is it's the videos that were requested and the one with the most votes are, is the one that we actually post on our wednesday videos um if you see while we're saying our meal plan a little recipe alert button over here or somewhere uh that recipe alert button lets you know that we've already shared that recipe uh on the channel and so you don't have to wait for us to do that one or request it um you can just go down to our playlist and check it out is always there um and if you do not see that recipe alert button that means we've never shown it on the channel and so you can vote on it and then we'll you know if if it wins we will share it yep okay so let's start with a meal plan yep <laughs> All right, so uh, tonight uh, Joel has a later meeting, and so I'm not cooking anything, and I'm just gonna eat, you know, some salad or something. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. Then tomorrow night it'll be uh, cilantro lime chicken. Yep. Tuesday night we're not planning on being at home, so no. we're not gonna cook. And then the next night we're gonna take that cilantro lime chicken, and we're gonna make some burritos. Yep. And then we're gonna do a hamburger casserole. That's right. Uh, the next night, a chicken potato scallop. Then Saturday is always homemade pizza night. That's right. And then we're going to have uh, Cajun sausage, potatoes, and green beans, and it's all thrown into a big pot together. All right. Then chicken and broccoli stir fry. That's right. Um, and our try something new. We do two try something news every month. Our first one for the month is going to be a creamy Cajun tortellini soup. Sweet. Uh, then beef taco mac. And then cheesy chicken chili. And then we'll have leftovers from that. Oh, yeah. We generally have leftovers of that. And then um, we're going to have some more homemade pizza. And then we'll do a spatchcock chicken on the next Sunday. That's right. And that actually takes us through our two-week meal period. All right. So drop us a comment below and let us know uh recipes you're trying if you've tried any of our recipes we'd love to know that also drop us a comment below and let us know what you'd like to vote on for recipe of the week and also and let us know how you're doing if you join the do yeah. the math challenge how are you doing let us know and how your math are, are is you going. learning some tips let's share them down there because we can all help each other that yeah. way let us know how you're mathing <laughs> and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notifications bell for updates we upload new videos on monday wednesday friday sometimes on the weekend uh, sometimes in between, you just kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there. Yep. With that said, that's going to do it today for the long run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.